Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Laurel and I love to create. I create all kinds of things. With Father's Day coming up, I've been thinking what can we create for dad? This is a little bit harder for me. I don't know many dads that like gnomes and fairy gardens. If they do, great, makes it that much easier. But what can we create for those dads that don't? And I came up with this and it is just on a cutting board from Dollarama and I added some clay, we made some burgers, some veggies, and a bun. Oh, Dad is the flipping best, right? So I'll show you guys right now how you can make your very own gift for Dad. Okay, we're gonna start with our cutting board and I just took some white chalk paint and added a little bit of black acrylic paint just to get a nice gray color and I'm just gonna cover the whole board with that. Don't worry about the back of it. And then while it's still wet, give it a wipe. Just, I just wanted it to be a faint color. And then I'm gonna start conditioning some clay. And I rolled it out on our pasta maker. The thickest setting I could do. And then I'm just carving out our spatula top here. And I'm just going to use an X-Acto knife to cut that out. So we're just going to cut it out. It doesn't need to be perfect at all. I'm going to spend lots of time with our tools now, just smoothing it with the silicone tips. Just a lot of shaping and smoothing. And then I wanted the top of it to be a little bit curved up, so I just placed some aluminum foil balled up underneath it a bit. And then we're going to bake it at 130 degrees for 30 minutes. And while that's baking, we're going to get started on our word portion of it. So I'm just carving out the words on onto some clay with my ball stylus tool. We're going to put that directly onto the board. You can see it's kind of hard to see, I know. You can see a little bit better at that angle. So this is all baked up now. I did see there was a little rough spot, so I just sanded it down a bit, just make it smooth. And then I just painted the whole thing black. This is just acrylic paint. So this is some wire mesh that I have laying around that I saved for this exact kind of reasons. <laughs> and I'm just using it to texture this. Now, both the top and the bottom, I'm gonna do that too. Just rolling on there. Not pressing too much because we don't want to wreck our words. And then I'm just going to paint those well. It is before it's baked even, we're going to paint the, those up. I'm going to start working on the handle for our spatula now. Just going to roll that, attach it to our spatula, wrap another piece around the bottom for a handle. And I'm going to roll that out a little bit just to flatten it. And then this is some wider wire mesh that I have that I'm going to do the same thing. Just give a little texture to it. We're going to use a little bacon bond to put that on there just to make sure it attaches to our board. Just smoothing again, always smoothing. And more bacon bond. And now I decided my words were not big enough, so I did it again on bigger pieces of clay so you could read it from further away. I was thinking the board looked too bare, so that's why I made it bigger. But this is when my husband came in and told me, oh, you should add burger to it. So we're going to just bake this up at 130 for 30 minutes. So I'm like, oh, okay, I can do that. I can make a burger, sure. So here I am now trying to figure out, can I make a burger? So I just made a circle and then I 
find a straight edge of any kind, make some lines across it, turn it diagonally, do it again. We want to make some grill marks on our burger. Now we're going to take a daughter tool and just randomly put dots all over it. Don't forget to get the sides of the burger. This is a bit of a bigger one. And then again on the sides. And now we're going to start on a piece of lettuce. So I just took some green and just cut out a jaggedy shape here, making some veins in it for the leaf here. And then I took some aluminum foil and just kind of mushed it around in there just to kind of give it a better texture. Again, placing some aluminum foil underneath parts of it just to, so it sticks up. I want it to be more of a 3D, like it's flipping kind of thing. And bake and bond. So for this, I used some red and purple clay that I, I mixed together. And then I rolled that out and rolled some white, put that on top. And now I'm just gonna cut some thin strips here. I decided to cut that even narrower. And then we're gonna make a loop with that. And then we have a red onion for our burger. Make one a little bit smaller. And then my husband told me, no, you need a tomato. And I'm like, I can't make a tomato. And he said, sure you can. So here's me trying to show that I can make a tomato. <laughs> so I just took this uh, piece of red clay, ready orange color, and I am now carving out pieces, um, but we're not gonna go all the way through. So just kind of scrape part of it through like, so you're not all the way through, but you have an edge basically. We're gonna hollow out our little center. And then with our tool, make that a little bit more pronounced. And then we bake that again. And once it's baked, we are adding now some little tiny seeds. So we're just gonna roll up some yellow clay and cut little pieces off. And then we're gonna pour some UV resin right in those little holes we made. Just a little bit, make sure not to go overboard. Moving it around with our seeds in there a little bit. I added a touch of white alcohol ink just to lighten it up. You can see I'm just kind of moving things around. And then we're gonna put it under our UV light and it is all good and done now. So we've got a tomato. Let me know what you think. Does that look like a tomato to you? <laughs> and then I made a bun. I'm sorry I didn't get a video of that, but that is just some cream color that I made circles with and then dry brushed a little bit of brown over top. I did cut some little sesame seeds and put those on top as well. And now we're just gonna paint everything up. Silver over everything. A Little bit of a dry brush, a little heavy dry brush, I guess. And now I took some red metallic. I did that on the handle as well a little bit, but we're gonna do it a little bit darker for our words. So we can read that dad is the flipping best. We're going to where to attach our veggies now. We're going to just dry brush these up too. I took just a little cream color paint over top of everything. And then I did a black wash. It's just a little bit of black acrylic paint mixed with water. It looks way darker when it's wet. When it dries, it'll just make it that nice charcoal look. And I still decided it just didn't look right. So then I added this black to the top and the bottom. And I went in with the gray again. I know the gray I wiped off, which this would have been way easier to do before we added the clay. But since I decided it didn't look right, I decided to go in after and do it. So very carefully, I went and added more gray paint. <laughs> but it definitely looks better. I'm glad I did it. And then we attach everything with some E6000 because we didn't want to bake our resin. That's why we did the tomato this way. And then we'll have to add our onion. Oh, and there we have it. Well, there we have it. Our gift for dad is all done. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you leave me a comment below. I love to hear from you guys. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. I've got so many more of our videos to show you guys. 
that I'm going to start trying to do two a week because there's just so much to share. So make sure you check back soon. Love to all. Have yourselves a great week. Have a great Father's Day.